pajamas and these Jindal channel, don't forget, follow along on YouTube. Subscribe, like, and share. Hit the boop alert button so you know what's going on all week long. Follow us on Instagram and please like and follow us on Facebook. You're going to get all sorts of cool content and bonus videos. Cheers, guys. Hi, everyone, and welcome to my virtual happy hour here at MD's Jindal channel live on Facebook and streaming live on YouTube. What are you guys drinking? Let us know because it is National Margarita Day. So I hope you're all drinking a nice frosty or on the rocks margarita rimmed with some yummy salt. So before we get started, let's bring in Miss Judy Gannon and see what's going on. Hey. Hi Judy, how are you today? I'm good, how are you? Very good. How was your weekend? Very good. I worked all weekend, but I was totally looking forward to today. Happy National Margarita Day. I know. I'm so excited. I wish I was at Casa Amigo drinking a big, giant coconut margarita right now. <laughs> yum, 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 yum. I know. Me too. They have the best. They're good. Well, you know, in honor of National Margarita Day, I thought, it, you know, we'd sip some margaritas today. But I've got something different in mind, which we'll get into in a few minutes. But... Before we get started, do you know where the margarita came from and how I, it got started? I do not. <laughs> well, what's kind of interesting is there's like a million different, you know, stories on how it got started. But according to Jose Cuervo, you know, the, the leading in the margaritas there, that it was created in 1938 for a Mexican showgirl named Rita de la Rosa. Oh. And I didn't get a chance to Google her, but I don't remember 1938 or anybody that does. So I don't know what she did, but everybody says there's a different reason how the margarita came to place. But, you know, who cares? Because it's good. Yeah. But we're going to do something with the margarita after this awesome segment, because, you know, if you're going to drink the margaritas all night, do you know what's going to happen? Going to have that hangover in the morning. Again, and we have strived for years trying to figure out how not to feel like crap in the morning, you know? We have. We do. We drink the water. We eat the food. We try. Take two Advil before you go to sleep. Someone told me a ham sandwich before you go to sleep. You know, I've heard every story in the book. Nothing works. Yeah. So I found this handy dandy little thing called a booze bandage a booze bandage does it yeah. stop you from drinking no 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 this is even better you guys you've heard it here first well, i'm sure a lot of you've seen it but to all of our viewers that haven't seen this this is what you need check this out so i hunted north south east and west and i found the gentleman that created this and i got him here so we're gonna bring him in right now to tell us all about this so nice yeah, let's see if we can. There is, ladies and gentlemen. This is Mr. Corey Dady, inventor of the booze bandage. Yay! Hi, Hi Corey. How are you? I'm good. How are you? This is Judy. Hi, Corey. Yeah, yeah. So, Corey, you have solved all of our problems. <laughs> Partially. Tell us <laughs> about this. So basically what it is, it's, it's a transdermal patch with just natural B1 vitamin in it, which is thiamine. Um, and that's one of the vitamins that you need to help yourself recover. And basically the, one of the main vitamins in your system that's depleted when you're drinking alcohol. So essentially what the best way to do it is putting it on when you go out drinking so that as your body is being depleted of the vitamin, the patch is just putting it right back into your system. So you're never really depleting that vitamin out of your system. So you don't have to wake up feeling bad in the morning. That's all it is, just a vitamin? That's all it is. It's it's pretty it's a pretty simplified. There's a lot of other stuff out there and everything, but B1 is what's been really found to actually, you know, be the main vitamin that actually helps feel better in the morning. So, that's all it is, it's just it's 75 milligrams of B1, which is like I say is thiamine. So, why wouldn't you just pop a B1 vitamin? Well, the big difference is the transdermal patch is what really makes the difference. So, taking a B1 vitamin you can do that, which is great, and it's going to help, but your body processes out a lot of that. So it obviously works through, it goes through your system, processes out a lot of it, 
with the with the patch, you're actually putting it directly on your skin. It's working transdermally through your skin and then directly in your bloodstream. So you're getting almost 100% of that vitamin into your system. This sounds super easy. It does sound super easy. Corey, I have to know, how many hangovers did you have to go through before you came up with this? <laughs> uh, that's kind of, the, kind of the reason why I came up with this. I moved to Key West and started drinking way too much and getting a little bit older, so the hangovers hurt a little bit more. So, Right yeah. there, guys. He answered it right there. Key West. He moved to Key West. That's all it took. <laughs> that's all it took. That's all it took Tom Brady was moving to Florida, and he's probably got a hangover. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you should send him a couple of those. <laughs> we should, Corey, you should have sent these uh, up to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers before their boat parade. Right? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, have, I have quite a few. I mean, I, I sell them online, so I mean, I get you know orders going out all over the U.S. and stuff. So yeah, they're they're pretty pretty widespread now. So but we're still working on getting a bigger uh, distribution network set up and everything like that to have them in local areas where people can pick them up all over the country. So. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to have everybody in South Florida wearing this where I'm coming from. Cause oh, we are going to try them next time we go out together. <laughs> next yep. Sunday. But I want, yep. to try to, I want to try to put one on now. If you could try yep. to walk me through this. I'm sorry, yep. Jake, I, think I just got these, so I couldn't get you one. That's yep, okay. For sure. Yeah, so when you open the package, so one of the things I do different than a lot of, there's other companies that do transdermal patches, products, and stuff like that. Um, that alcohol swab you have in your hand right there, yep. that's – because the one thing is, is when you get the patch, especially being here in Florida with the heat and stuff like that, if you're, you're sweating, if you have um, suntan lotion, any kind of regular lotion, you know, any kind of body spray, anything like that, if you don't get your skin good and clean, that pa the patch won't stick on like it's supposed to. You know, you'll have it on there an hour or so later, it's peeling off, then obviously it isn't a job. So that's key. So take the alcohol swab. Um, what I normally do is I typically do like the, in I'll do like the inside of my forearm. Um, you can do it on technically any hairless spot of your body, but the best spots are normally inside of your forearm, um, lower part of your abs, the top part of your butt cheek. Um, that's good places to put it. And also the one thing is you don't want to put it somewhere where you're going to be rubbing up against constantly or anything like that, because it is something that's stuck to your skin. And if you catch the edge of it or anything like that, you stand a chance of peeling it off or, or starting the process of peeling it off. Well, then so, but, you probably don't want to put it on your butt cheek if you're out drinking. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to be rubbing that up against something. <laughs> okay. Most of the time you have, when, most of the time you have some kind of clothing over top of it. So that kind of helps, you know, keep anything from rubbing against it. Okay. So I'm cleaning my area. I'm free of sunscreen and I have no hair because <laughs> you shouldn't have hair there. Right. Yep. Okay. Perfect. Yep. So clean it. Yep. Yep. Got it. Good. Um, just make sure the alcohol is good and dry. Um, and then now if you grab the patch from the other side of the package there, yeah. You can feel the whole thing out of the package. Okay. Um, so if you look at it, the one mistake I've had some people make is there's two layers to the patch. So you have the actual transdermal patch. And then if you look at the logo that's on the patch, the logo is actually just a sticker that's applied to the top of the patch. Okay. But they're adhered together pretty well. But, you know, you see the, um, the top sticker is a little bit more pronounced. So sometimes people will try to grab the sticker and pull just the sticker off. And unfortunately, if you do that, you're not getting the patch behind that with the actual vitamins. In I think I got it. Yep. Hey, Robin, how you doing? Thank you for watching. No, oh, Robin's at the gym, Mel. Woohoo, Robin, you need to get one of these things so you don't have a hangover tomorrow. <laughs> okay, so Corey, I peel it off. So peel it off, uh-huh. Okay, got it. Hey. Yep, the clean part of your skin there, make sure it's dry, place it on there. Any direction doesn't really matter, just place it on there. Honestly, the easiest way I tell most people is just set it in place and smack it. Smack it on there and make sure it's on there good. Okay. Yep. There you go. Okay, so it's once, on. Yep, so once it's on there, the, the best thing I always recommend to everybody is when you it, put it on when you have your first drink or when you first go out, two things because, one, to make sure you put it on correct, you know, after you've had a few drinks and you're stumbling around trying to put it on. If you don't put it on properly, obviously, it's not going to work. Um, the other thing is I tell everybody, just put it on. And the easiest thing to do is put it on and forget about it. Leave it on until you wake up in the morning and it'll do its job. Cool. So that's so. awesome marketing because you got the sticker over it. So everyone's like, what's that thing? Absolutely. Yep. And it, it's, and that's the thing is it gets people's attention and you'll see once you wear them out or anything like that, as soon as you walk around with them, people are like, what is this on your arm? You know, grab your arm, start looking at it, like trying to ask you questions about it and stuff. So it's definitely a good marketing too, like that. So yeah, absolutely. Now, is there any tingling or anything on your arm there, Mary Dawn? Do you feel anything? Nothing at all. Nope. 
you should you shouldn't feel anything. The only thing I warn people about is if you are if you do have very sensitive skin, um, one of the big things is there. You know, if you sweat a lot underneath the patch, the, the sweat is kind of trapped underneath. You know, in uh, from your pores. Um, so if you have sensitive skin, sometimes you'll have a light like rash on there from wearing it too long. That's the only time I've really found it. Mainly is if you sweat a lot. Um, but for people that don't have sensitive skin, put it on there, forget about it. You know, wake up in the morning, pull it off, and you'll be feeling great. Nice. So you sweaty people, you're crap out of luck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not that you're out of luck, but you, you may you may have a slight little rash or slight little irritation to it. So this is so cool. I'm so excited. So now you're down in Key West. How's it going down there for the bars and everything? What was that? So you're down in Key West. Um, uh -huh. How's it going? You know, Florida's been open. How's it going down there with the bars and everything? People back to normal? Somewhat. I mean, I think from what I hear from people from other areas, I think we're back normal or more normal than, than a lot of places are. Um, it's the masks are still required to get in most places and stuff like that. You know, once you're sitting and, you know, having a drink, you can take your mask off for, for the most part, I would say we're pretty close to being back to normal, you know, but it's still, it's not completely normal. I mean, obviously with all this going on. Yeah. Well, this is awesome. Um, it's so cool. I am so excited. So Obviously, I'm going to drink some margaritas tonight because it's National Margarita yep. Day. So I'll report back to everybody tomorrow, yep. see what's going on. But I think this weekend, because Corey was nice enough to send me a bunch. So I'll give them out to, you know, the people I'm going out with. And by next Monday, we'll have report back to everybody and see if we had a hangover or not. Because this is awesome. I can't wait awesome. to feel great tomorrow morning. I'm excited to see how it works, too. Me, too. God. This is awesome. So thank you so much, Corey. And I love your shirt, by the way. That is cool. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> so also, boozebandage.com, guys. And I did notice, Corey, on your website, there was a discount. It was like 10% off or something. Yep. Uh, we do we do discounts all the time. So if you guys follow us on social media, um, everything's at Booze Bandage. So facebook.com slash Booze Bandage, Instagram, Twitter, um, any of the places you follow us on, we're always promoting, uh, you know, we have... Um, St. Patrick's Day coming up. We normally always do a big sale on St. Patrick's Day. Um, you can sign up for our email list. If you do that, we send out emails with all kinds of uh, different promotions and other stuff we got going on. Um, so we're always trying to do some kind of discount and everything like that. But uh, yeah, definitely. You can go to the website and sign up for the uh, email list and get 15% off that way. Um, and like I said, just keep an eye on any of the social media and stuff and you can see other discounts and events we got going on that way as well. That's cool. Thank you so much. Thank you for sending us these bandages and... I'll report back to you too, Corey, and let you know how awesome. I feel it. Corey, yeah, we, sure. we thank you for all of your hangovers to help us all <laughs> in the future. <laughs> thank you guys, I appreciate you guys having me on. Thank you, Corey. Take care. Have fun down to Key West. Hi, right, guys. We'll see you. Bye. Bye. Cheers. This is Judy. I can't wait. This is great. This is super exciting. Oh, my God. I'm going to get you one of these so we can go drinking this weekend. See yeah. <laughs> This is great. So, okay, while I'm sporting my fancy booze bandage, so it's National Margarita Day, right? Yes, it is. So, you know, I could make a margarita for you guys. I could get my fancy Don Julio 1942. I could get all my stuff out, but, but I'm not gonna do that. Oh. Hi, Sandy, how are you? What are we gonna do? So, we're not gonna do that because the new buzzword, RTD, ready to drink. All of the canned ready to drink stuff is everywhere. <laughs> it's true, it is. So I sent you over one of these RTDs. You did, I have it right here. So this one, Cutwater, which we talked about a couple weeks ago, you know, so that way you don't have to bring all the stuff out to the beach or out on the boat. You just bring your can and you're ready to go, you know? Yeah. This one, tequila margarita. How perfect. Wow, that is perfect. So I salted my margarita glass because you got to have that. But I mean, that's just for today. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to try these out, you guys. All right. You have the margarita and I have a vodka mule. Now, what percentage is your alcohol? 7%. 7%. 
Okay, this one is 12.5. Wow. Good thing I'm wearing my booze bandage. Yeah. But there's also, you know, some other ones. Like this one is the rum mojito. And that sounds good. And our cameraman wants to try this one. This is the tiki rum mai tai. Oh. This one's 15%. Now, these are compliments of Southern Eagle. They sent these over to us. So thank you very much, Southern Eagle in Fort Pierce, Florida. Thank you, Southern Eagle. So let's try these. I've got my margarita here. <coughs> Ooh. Ooh. <coughs> it's it's definitely good. It's um it's got it's got a kick, like uh, it's total tequila. I can taste tequila. It's amazingly, and it tastes good. It's got the lime, the sour, but it's got a zest to it almost. I can't figure out what the zest is. Okay. How's yours taste? Oh, let's see. Oh, I could drink that. <laughs> <laughs> now, a mule, that's the ginger beer, right? Yes, it is. It's it's actually very good. It has kind of like a um, little bit of a ginger flavor. Can't really taste vodka, but I can taste the alcohol. Um, Let me see that can again. Okay. Yeah. All right. So you can't taste the alcohol? No, I mean, I can't taste like a vodka flavor, if that's what you're asking. But it's... I could drink these, and you guys know I'm not a beer girl, and I'm not a seltzer girl. This is really good. This one is, too, honestly. I mean, this is – I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to finish this. Good thing I got my patch on, you know? Yeah, because <laughs> we know that's not the only margarita you're going to have tonight. <laughs> well, I'm going to be trying the, the, you know, the rum mint mojito and the tiki rum mai tai, so I'm going to – Oh, I forgot to ask Corey. I read on the directions. Maybe he's still watching and he can comment in. On that booze patch, I read you shouldn't have more than eight drinks. Doesn't that kind of defeat the purpose? Mm, it might just be like a, you know, drink responsibly situation. Oh, uh, like maybe they just have to say that type thing? Maybe, yeah. Because, I mean, you're going out to get, you know, boozed up on a bachelor bachelorette party, you're probably going to have more than eight drinks, I think. Yeah, I mean, I'm thinking you're going to have a couple shots in there in between with their those drinks as well. <laughs> well, anyways, maybe. Maybe he's watching and he'll, uh, oh, there he is. He is. He said uh, more, more of a suggestion. That's what we thought. That's what we yeah. thought. Yeah, got to cover your butt somehow, right? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Anytime you're doing anything with cocktails, the phrase should always be, please drink responsibly. <laughs> please drink responsibly. Don't drink and drive. Make yes. Sure walk on the sidewalks, you know. Yes, yes. Speaking Ooh. of drinking and driving, did you, MD, have you ever used that company, Drizzly, the alcohol delivery company? No. And as a matter of fact, just recently, I, put, I went on there and I put my zip code in to see if they do deliver here locally in Port St. Lucie, Florida, and they do. Yeah, and they just sold, after being open for less than two years, they just sold to Uber. Uber's gonna be taking them over. I saw that. Yeah. So I went on there and I was checking out the prices because I was actually kind of low on wine the other night, you know? Yeah. I didn't have time to go to the store, so I'm like, let's just see what my go-to, you know, my boyfriend, Josh, or Joel, or, you know. Yeah. Let's see what they're at. And a bottle of Josh was only eleven ninety nine. Nice. I mean, that's what it is at BJ's. And so I was like, yeah, I don't know if there's a, a service fee or if there's a, um, a subscription fee. I'm not sure. I, I think it's like a $5 delivery fee. So now that brings that bottle of $11 wine to, you know, you know. But, yeah. That's but, right. hey, if you're already drinking and you don't want to leave, it's the responsible way to do it. <laughs> we have to be responsible, everybody. That's right. <laughs> so, yeah, drizzly, drizzly.com. It's pretty cool, you guys. You know, don't drink and drive. Just have it brought to you. Yeah, I mean, everybody else is doing delivery services, you know, 
Yep. Food food places, you can get food from anywhere you want. Um, why not booze? I think the only thing you cannot legally have delivered to you is tobacco products. I bet if you talk to that pizza delivery guy and throw him a fiber on the side, you'll <laughs> I bet you're right. I bet you're right. <laughs> so let's get on to my favorite people in the world. The Kardashians. Oh my goodness. Kylie Jenner has a tequila out. Speaking of National Margarita Day. Does she really? Oh, I'm sorry. Kendall Jenner. I get them always confused. Kendall <laughs> Jenner. I'm so Okay. Sorry. The model girl, the skinny one that's had no augmentation of what sorts. Okay. So Kendall Jenner has a tequila. It's actually not out yet, but it's called 818 Tequila. And there it is. And it's a Reposado, an Anejo, and a Blanco. And the 818 represents her Calabasas area code. Okay. Where she lives. So that just got, she announced that I think it was Friday. And hey, GM Jackson, how are you? Up there in Georgia. Got to get yourself one of these patches, GM. So, okay, she announced on Friday that she has this tequila. By the way, it's $58. Okay. For one bottle. Hmm. So, she's got this tequila, and now everybody is pissed off at her. Why? They are saying there's gentrification... They're saying lack of respect to the culture that the Mexicans that make this tequila, you're endorsing. What about them? They're pissed off. What? Yeah. Oh my gosh. So, you know, who's to say that, remember, the Jonas Brothers tequila, you know, the Villa One, why aren't people pissed at them? Yeah. You know, uh, George Clooney's got a uh, Casamigos, right? Yeah. So why are they just mad at Kendall Jackson? Leave her alone. Because she's a Kardashian. That's why. It's not. It's not fair. It's but, not fair. You know. But we all know that you're going to have one of those bottles. As soon as it's not out yet, but as soon as it's out, <laughs> well, I'm going to have it. Yes. And speaking of Cutwater, because that was what we were on. Look at this one here. This is one of your favorites. Can you see it? The White Russian. Ah, can you imagine milk in a can? I'm, I'm a little leery about that. I'm going to get you one. I, I, I mean, I would try it. You know, I would. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We are, we're running low on time. So I wanted to get to the coolest thing ever are, you know, bath balls you throw in your bath, they fizzle all up. Yes. They now have ready for this one. I'm ready. Booze balls. What? <laughs> okay. All right. Look at these things. Okay. These are called drink bombs. It's mydrinkbomb.com. Okay. Okay. All those are flavors. And oh. what you do is it's just, it's crazy. It's natural ingredients, organic, organic things of this uh, organic stuff and pressed flowers and it's called drink dust. Okay. Kendall, I, I have, I have seen the, um, the hot chocolate bombs. Okay. Like a big chocolate ball and you get them like with marshmallows and stuff in them and drop them in a cup with hot water and watch it, you know, explode. Yes. So, okay. You get one to two drinks per bomb. Okay. And they also have mocktails and they have little kid stuff too. So, you can buy these bombs. They're a little costly. Again, they are at um, mydrinkbomb.com. Oh, Sandra Lopez. Oh, my God. I would probably love that. Yes, definitely. And did you see John Carley? He says, Kendall loves the controversy. Yes. <laughs> That's probably why they did it. Honestly. Yeah, she does. She loves it. But these these drink bombs, I mean, how cool is this? You can, there, There's a million. Let me see if I can recognize some of these flavors. They've got like champagne, mimosa flavor, and all this crazy stuff. Anyways, mydrinkbomb.com, pretty cool. And I just got to get to this. Finally, we've been waiting. Remember Snoop Dogg's gin that he's got? Yes. Okay, 
Remember, because only Heather and my mom drink gin. That's it, Heather and your mom. The Indago is finally out nationwide. It is available, you guys. You can go get your Indago gin. Nice. And all I can say is he says it's light on the juniper and heavy on the citrus and the fruits. It's got a strawberry note over the whole taste. Ah. Oh. So we'll see the Indago gin from Snoop Dogg is That's out. It's a cool looking bottle. Yep. And I also posted online earlier this week because Girl Scout cookies are around again. There is a wine and Girl Scout cooking pairing list. <laughs> yes. So if you click on the Gin Mill channel a few days ago, you can see what wine you should drink with what Girl Scout cookie. Nice. And they say that, you know, when you've got a sweet cookie, you want to make sure that you get a sweeter wine. Otherwise, it's going to end up tasting weirdly bitter. Oh, I'm pretty sure that a white Russian will go with any one of those cookies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. I don't know. And you know what else? I was told, I was talking to um, the gentleman earlier with the boost bandage, Corey, before the show. He was telling me that that booze bandage is also good for motion sickness. Oh, wow. Yeah, because I the reason I found him is a friend of mine has a charter boat up in New York. And he was advertising these booze bandages. And I said, I don't get the connection. Well, Corey told me that a lot of people will use this so they don't get motion sickness. That's very cool. So there you have it. It's good for everything. There you have it. Get no more hangovers, motion sickness, gone. Gone. Well, Fantastic. you know, you, you can so also much. make, you can also make the margarita you with Tito's, you know, if you want, because it's the unofficial sponsor of them, the channel. Yes. <laughs> but anyways, that's all we've got for today, you guys. And we want to thank Southern Eagle and Cutwater for right, sending right, photos. Right, 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 right. We want to thank Corey over at boozebandage.com. You guys go on the website. You can get a discount. You don't want to hang over. And thank everybody for joining us. Thank you, Judy, very much. And Thanks, everybody. Happy Margarita Day. Enjoy your, your mule. I will. Cheers. And enjoy my margarita because I'm going to be hangover free tomorrow. Yay. Don't forget, guys. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit the boop alert button. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Instagram. Check out MD's Gym Mill channel TikTok for fun little stuff after the show. And have a great week. Hangover free, of course. Bye, guys. Bye.